Kate Middleton, yep. obviously girlfriend to the Fresh Prince. I mean, I don't know how she goes keeping up with the Fresh Prince William. There'd be no way they could ever schedule a date. No. Because everyone knows he hates schedules. He, he hates, hates, he just hates any sort of formality. Yeah, exactly. She's probably in bed at night, sort of at 3 a.m., you know, after he said, I'll meet you at 8 for dinner. Yeah. And she's gone back home, you know, annoyed with herself that again, she fell for a, a scheduling trick. Yeah, she, exactly. He never sticks to them. Bang, window smashes open, he just slides through on yeah. a rope. I'm yeah. here. <laughs> that sounds like Prince With William. a table strapped to his back and a roast pig. <laughs> yeah. You ready for dinner? <laughs> the table flips out, suddenly they're eating. That's that's, that's what's how... going out with the Fresh Prince is like. But obviously she needed a break from that because she went on holidays. She went on holidays with her family uh, to uh, one of Prince Charles' 500-year-old manors. One of them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, a nine-bedroom property. Uh, uh, probably needs doing up. In unspoiled countryside. Okay, so it's <laughs> not on a wasteland <laughs> yes. or next to a nuclear reactor yeah. like all the other castles. <laughs> and uh, apparently she's had to pay six grand Ooh. to stay there. Now, it doesn't say whether she paid before. I like to think she was billed after. Absolutely. Who'd she go with? She went with her family. <sighs> Oh. Getting charged for that's a bit strange, isn't it? She definitely, I think it's fair to speculate fact here. Yeah. I think she's definitely gone, Mum, Dad, it's okay. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty tight with the royal family. I think yeah. we can stay at the castle for the weekend. Well, I'll give you an example. My family stayed at Megan's house yeah. uh, for the whole holiday, for Christmas season. Yeah. And uh, with how Megan m- not being there. How much did she uh, She <laughs> <laughs> hasn't Food charged, included? <laughs> she hasn't charged me yet. But maybe the invoice has gone to the wrong address. I think so. <laughs> you have moved recently. <laughs> but it seems to me... A situation where you definitely thought you were getting it for free. If you're staying with the in-laws, yeah. Yeah, you definitely think you can get to stay at the in-laws' house for free. Then Prince Charles has gone and thanks so much for staying. And they've gone, oh, it was great. And that would be $6,000. Will it? Uh, will it be? And uh, maybe they laughed. Maybe they went, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Charlie. Prince Charlie. I thought you were boring. <laughs> There's no, seriously, that will be $6,000. Yep, no worries, mate. <laughs> hey, I was, I was, we would have stayed there anyway. We weren't just going because it was free. But it's one of those things, too. You, you only d- are doing it because you would assume it's free. Exactly. They're not going to pick out They're that. not going to go, oh, we've booked a nine-bedroom castle for mm. the weekend, and Charles is going, well, you're not going to believe this. I own it. <laughs> yeah. Like, it comes in at the end. They only went there because they would have assumed it's free. Thirteen ten sixty today, this Pants Off Friday. What did you think you were getting for free, and how did it turn out? Yeah. When you were actually asked to pay for it, as it when I was nineteen, mm. me and my friends convinced a club that we were a band, right? Yeah. And yeah. they said, "Yeah, yeah, guys, come, oh, come in, come in." Said, "Yeah, yeah, we're just touring from interstate." Oh, yeah, cool. Drank like three bottles of champagne, thinking this is amazing. We've scammed them, and at the end, got a bill for one hundred and sixty dollars, <laughs> which was like nine weeks' salary. <laughs> David on thirteen ten sixty, you got caught out thinking something was free. Yeah, I basically, I own a, a car wash slash detailing uh, business. In Sydney, I had a regular customer of mine who he bought into a limousine company. Mm. Yep. Um, he had the, he had the limousine company. He only just got into it, and he goes, he came in midweek, and he said, "Oh yeah, can you just wash the the limo for me?" It was a, actually a Hummer, mm. stretch Hummer. And I said, "Yeah, I can do that for you." I did a few extra things for him, helped him out a lot. You know, he's worried about his new business and stuff. He said, "Oh, it's actually not booked. It's not not booked this weekend. You want to use it?" I thought, "Okay, yeah, you know, I'll take, I'll get all, get some mates together and that, and we'll go out on the Friday night." Yeah. yeah. Um, then it came Monday, I copped an invoice for about $1,500. Oh, David, <laughs> did you wash his car for free? No, I didn't, but I did a lot of extra work for him, thinking, oh, you know, he's not booked and he's got nothing to do. Yeah, exactly. So I was I got charged for his driver's time in the car. Unbel- David, did How you... Much, was it worth 1500 bucks? the, uh, nah. the excitement? Of no, course no, not. No, no. Not really, no. But David, <laughs> you, you, you were gonna, did you ring him up and say, sorry, I mean... I have assumed, which uh, makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> but do you, did you say sorry? I just didn't realise. Uh, I said to him, you know, I've known him for about a year and a half, and I, I just, as a customer, you know, I don't you know, yeah. hang out with him all the time. Whatever. I said to him, um, oh, I thought that there'd at least be some kind of discount. I didn't want to say, oh, well, how come it's not free? I yeah, said, how about how about oh, like a fifteen hundred dollar yeah, discount? <laughs> yeah, how about like maybe half price or something? You know, I didn't think that um, it cost me anything. Quite. He's like, nah, well, you know, what do you mean? I'm like, and it sort of just got left, left there. And I just bit too awkward. It. It's clever. Walk it's a clever away. business yeah. manoeuvre yeah. from him. <laughs> hey, mate, do you want to just uh, use the horse for an hour? Yeah, cool. <laughs> 15 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> good, good company. Good, good business. <laughs> City horses. 
<laughs> G'day, mate. So, uh, not doing anything with my old Clydesdale. Do you want to use it for half a? Bang, eight fifty. <laughs> a dollar <Okay>. more. <laughs> but if you so if you book it for, you book it for an hour, hour. and you get a discount. <laughs> Kate on thirteen ten sixty. You were assuming you're getting something for free, Kate. Yes, I did. Unbeknownst to me, my partner and I were invited over to our in-laws for a Sunday night dinner roast, and yeah. turned out we had to pay. Oh, what? <laughs> you did, you did not. How does someone charge you for a roast? Especially when they're family too. I don't quite understand myself. Well, how do they uh, break it down? Do you get a bill at the end? <laughs> what happened? Oh, pretty much. Um, yeah, we were just invited over, and we thought, oh, yeah, that would be nice. Go see the family. Haven't been there for a little while. Um, yeah, and at the end they just said, oh, yeah, um, by the way, that costs like 50 bucks. Can we have like $5 just to contribute to the what? meal? <laughs> and I've just gone, what? And then I walked out of the house and I gave my other half an absolute grilling. I'm like, if I ever have to go there ever again and pay a freaking meal, like, I was just, yeah. I was ripped. By the way, they've only gone, just give us five minutes, a good deal. So you obviously ate more than 10%, so you're still ahead. Well but done. The other thing was, too, is that they had the rest of the family there as well, so everybody had to pay. It was just retarded. Oh, they're running a profit. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and now, do you want gravy? Yeah, there is a small fee, and obviously that's an extra. This is Hamish and Andy.